So this is a message for RFK Jr. I believe that you will be the next president of the United States. And because of this, I wanted to speak with you or to send you a message and say, you know, this is the initiation process for you and you're going to be stepping into this role. And when you do, I just would ask that you don't forget why you're doing it and who got you there. So why? To make America and the world a better place. And who is going to get you there? It's us, we the people. And if you find yourself in a place of personal turmoil or professional turmoil or things are happening, call on us, rely on us, reach out to us because we're going to back you. And we want to back you. We don't want to just back you for the election and then sit hands off and say, all right, cool, Robert's going to fix things. We want to be involved and we want to help you make the important decisions because that's how it ought to be anyways. You know, I voted... <laughs> I only voted one other time in my life other than I wrote in myself the first time I was legally of age to vote. But I voted for Obama in 2008, but not in 2012. And the reason was, firstly, because he was black, and I thought that was historically important. And also because I liked what he said, and I believed what he said. And maybe I was a fool for that. Um, you know, he re-signed the Patriot Act, something that he swore on his campaign trail that he would not do. And it was one of the main reasons I voted for him. So... For him to make that betrayal in his first term uh, really, really hurt. And so I didn't vote for him again. And uh, yeah, you know, one thing I observed with him is that he seemed like under a lot of strain the first six months. Then he kind of disappeared and came back a few months later and he was in a much better mood and he was just being another crony. Uh, he, something I think in him must have caved. I don't know why. I have my speculations on why that might be, but I feel like some sort of pressure got to him, uh, or some, some bad actors, some agents got to him and maybe threatened him, put some pressure on him in some way. And, uh, he played ball. And so why I'm saying this to say that I wish at that time of crisis he had reached out and said like, hey, this is what's happening. They're threatening me. They're threatening my family. They're putting the pressure on me. I need your help. You know, you got me into office. Help me, you know, send your prayers, send your love, send your resources. Help me like just get rid of these guys. Get rid of the influence that these people have. Not get rid of them, but like remove their influence on him and allow him to do his job. So we can do that for you. We can get you in the White House and we can help you clear a path. So don't forget us while you're there. Don't forget who got you there and who can bail you out when you need help. So I hope you this message finds you well. And uh, yeah, look forward to working with you as a member of the public and you as the president.